Let me just see if everything's ready. Oh, oh, okay, let me just check. Nope. You don't want to look at the credits. <laughs> Get out of there. All right. Just making sure everything's ready here. Kidnucks. All right, seem good. All right. So, recently, uh, if you've been following my uh, social media, I have been doing a bunch of artwork for Haunted Castle, and I figure, you know what? I've never beaten this game before. Um, this game, Haunted Castle is arguably considered the most difficult game in Castlevania's history. Like, the, the entire franchise. It is the most difficult game. And I agree, because that's partly why I haven't beaten it yet, is because of how obtusely difficult it is. Because, well, it's an arcade game. And as such, it is very cruel. It's very unforgiving, and it's, quite frankly, bullshit. So today... I figure I'm going to stream the game, and I'm going to beat it for the first time. We're going to try. So, without further ado, this is Haunted Castle. And the uh, description at the bottom says, Your beloved bride has been kidnapped. Play as Simon Belmont and venture towards the Dark Lord's dreaded castle to save her from a terrible fate. So yes, we are playing as Simon Belmont in this game, and his wife, Selena Belmont, has been kidnapped. Um, let, let's just start it. That way I can talk about it more. So right off the bat, I'm going to do something here that I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do. We're going to spam credits. We're going to go infinite credits here because we have to. That's the only way we're going to make it to this game. <laughs> so we're just going to max this out to 90. I don't know why it's 90 and not like 99, but whatever. Oh, so there's Simon Belmont and his wife, Selena, getting married, and oh no! Dracula comes down and swoops and takes her away. And now we gotta go get her. And Simon suddenly changed out of his tuxedo into a green barbarian outfit. So yeah, interesting, just abrupt start. Simon Belmont and wife. Yep. But yeah, this uh, this game controls a lot differently than your uh, traditional Castlevania. The jumps are very slow, very committed. Uh, the whip has a very small hitbox, very small, to where it gets very frustrating with some enemies later on, from what I've noticed. So, yeah, you get hit by those things too, by the way. Uh, those, those gravestones that fall down, those will damage you. Yeah. Bullshit. Just bullshit game design just to piss you off and, make, and kill you. So now we've got the Yellow Devil fight from Mega Man here. <laughs> so just, we're gonna sit in this spot. Just whip at these. <sighs> you gotta be... See that? Already dead. Already got our first game over. Okay, well, let's start this right here, so that's cool. I will say that I do like the continue system. It is pretty forgiving that they give you checkpoints. So we're just gonna sit here and whip. Dude, why does he keep doing that? He keeps doing that thing where he, like, stands up for, like, a split second. All right, that's out of the way. This music is Cross Your Heart, by the way. I think this track is in uh, Portrait of Ruin at the Dark Academy stage, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was at the Dark Academy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now again, because I said I haven't beaten this yet, but there are things that I know about this game because I've attempted, 
I've attempted to play through it numerous times to try to beat it, but I just, I, I never could. So, if you hear me pointing stuff out, it's just because I'm already familiar with it. Like, coming up, we've got a boss fight right here with uh, Medusa. But before that, she's going to spawn a bunch of bats. So what we're going to do, we're going to sit in this space right here, and we're just going to just whip. Because the bats are all perfectly aligned to just be within your whip range if you're sitting in this spot. So now we're going to sit here and we're going to throw bombs and avoid her uh, snakes that she keeps throwing at us. Ah, man. All right. We still got it. That's fine. All right, so that's the first boss, Medusa. Cool. First level down. We're already doing. We're already doing good. <laughs> All right. So careful here. If you kill the skeletons, they turn into like banshees, and you have to crouch. You can't really do anything about it. All right. And right there, he just dropped the boomerang. God, the hitboxes on these enemies are just bullshit. Wait, did we get... Oh, we didn't get the, uh, the, the chain whip. Usually they drop a chain whip there. I don't know why they didn't drop it. I thought that was guaranteed, too. Alright, well, we got a bunch of mermen, and now we got this blood waterfall here. So there's a staircase right here. And you might notice that it goes down. Well, we can't take it down, because no matter what directions we press it won't bring us back down any farther. And it doesn't look like there's any other platforms ahead of us, so what do we do? They pull a little Dark Souls on you. Just invisible pathway here. It's like we're in the Crystal Caves all over again. <laughs> all right, so there's a bunch of platforms down here. Do not fall in this cotton candy colored water because that's instant death. Oh God, okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought for sure that was going to kill me, because the platform went way too far down. Alright. Oh, man. I also hate that when you're on the stairs... Oh, God. Oh, there's the chain one. Get that. Okay. I also hate that when you're on the stairs... You have to hold up the entire time. You have to go to the tippy, tippy top of the entire stairs to get off it. You can't just jump off. You can't just like... No, you got to go all the way to the top. All right, so that was a little dragon enemy. Is that what the white dragon looked like when it had flesh? That's curious. <laughs> okay, well, we got mud men. Oh, I thought he was going to fall down the pit. <laughs> all right, well, we died. That's going to happen a lot. We're, we're going to die a lot in this in this game. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to die a lot. Okay, so we're back here again. They're going to drop a bunch of fucking boulders on us. All right. Uh, come on. All right. I hate how the camera has to, like, readjust itself. No. Okay. Nice. Ah, come on. I'm gonna throw this now. Oh no, we... Oh, ah, I forgot where exactly they were. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I'd say my biggest gripe with this game is the hitboxes. For sure. I think that's the overall biggest problem with this game is just how terrible the hitboxes are. The hitbox for your weapon is too small and the hitboxes for the enemies are too big. That's my biggest issue with this game, personally. See, these mud men, you'll notice that when you hit them, they, they like throw a clump of mud at you, which then spawns another mud man, which runs twice as fast as the original one. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this field of dead trees with yellow sap at the top? Is that sap? Alright, we got another dragon enemy here. 
it's interesting seeing what those enemies look like with flesh on them. Because <laughs> normally every other game that they appear in, they're skeletons. I'm just gonna stay to the top of these trees. Maybe maybe the game will reward me if I do. No! Alright, whatever. Oh god. Aha! I knew they were gonna turn into banshees. Can you do it again? Ah, I was too close. Alright. Oh, now it's dark. Boss? Boss time? Oh god, am I even ready for this? Oh, it's 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 a bone it's a bone dragon. Okay. Uh, can I can I do this? Oh God, I don't think I have the health. Oh God, oh God. Okay, just crouch. Just wait. Just wait. Oh God, I don't think I can do this. Nope. Nope. Okay. I wish I had the stopwatch. The stopwatch. You could just cheese bosses if you have the stopwatch. Oh, you're gonna put me way back here, dude. Man. Come on. <laughs> Alright. When I said hitboxes, I also meant, like, collision detection. Because sometimes you think you have footing on platforms when you just don't. It looks like you're on a platform, but really, you're actually not. The game will say that you fell through it instead of actually landing on it, which is dumb. All right. I'd say this is the I think this is the hardest stage in the game so far. Oh, dude, like that. You, OK, there's that lip. You see that? There's like that lip protruding from the left there. You think you can land on that. But no, the game says you don't get to. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> Just, just dumb shit like that. Okay, well, we avoided that. Oh, okay. This, this game is just... Oh, come on. I wonder if anybody's still in chat. I haven't seen anybody talking a bit. I'm sorry if I haven't read your chat. It's just I'm trying to focus on this extremely difficult game. Uh... I mean, I know there's a pause button, like, right there, but still. This game is straight up evil. I seriously can't imagine playing this in the arcade. Dude, you're, you're telling me, dude. This, this, this game really is just straight up evil, dude. This game has so... People think that the NES games are cheap and rigged. You don't even know what the definition of cheap and rigged is until you played this game. <laughs> Like, there are moments in this game where it feels like you are required to take damage, no matter what. Alright, so now we're back here. Back in the fucking... Forest... Uh, what, what was that? The uh, Land of Fire from Naruto? <laughs> Wait, what was that? Excuse me? Excuse me? What was that? Okay. Just further proving my point about how fucking bullshit this game is. What was that? Alright. We got this, though. We can do this. We can do this. I want that stopwatch, though. I really want that stopwatch. So I can just cheese through these bosses. Do one of you bats drop it? No? Okay. Just gonna sit here and deal with this stupid dragon. Alright, here come the mud men. Oh god, I went too far ahead. I should have went backwards. There we go. Alright, back on the fucking sap trees again. These dead tree things. So 
So yeah, there there is a pit down there, apparently. I don't know what that was about. He hit me, and then it glitched me through the platform and just killed me instantly. <laughs> okay, actually, no, this time? Let's see if we can stay at the top. I want to see if we can stay at the top of these trees this time. Oh god, Merman. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! Oh, now it's dark. All right, here comes the Bone Dragon boss again. And you're gonna... What are you skeletons doing here? Oh, we got... Oh, okay. Good boss. <laughs> Is this the Japanese version of the US one? Uh, the US version. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably should have picked the Japanese version, but you know what? I want bragging rights. I, I want bragging rights today. I want to talk my shit. Ah, there's Buddy Tears. Oh, we got Flea Men. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, chandelier. Oh. oh, the chandelier didn't break. It's just a falling spike trap. And, and the axe armor, what? The axe armor just like flinged his axe at me with like a ch or, or like a retractable chain. Do you see that? That's such a weird design choice. I've never seen them do that before. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here. Finish the Castlevania adventure without. Hold on, I gotta look at chat. Wait, what? What is this? Uh... Oh, the... Harpies? Hello? Hello? Alright. <laughs> cool. It just, it just warped us into this, like, negative dimension with these harpies. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, let that go. Alright, axe armor with your weird retractable chain. Like he's Rygar up in this bitch. Okay. At least they only take three hits, right? Then again, I do have, like, the chain whip, so... Alright, well now we got these stupid harpies. Oh, they go down with two hits with the boomerang. It's not terrible. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was pointless, whatever that was. Dude, these fucking flea men. Oh, he dropped the cross. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Alright. Wait for this to go. Oh, God. I'm surprised the hitbox was out as lenient. I thought for sure that was going to hit me. Oh, look, guys, bloody tears, and it goes right through me. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a dinner table? Dude, this is a massive dinner table. Look how big this table is. It's bigger than me. How do you sit in this thing? Dude, I look like a child. <laughs> oh, yep, they come to life. Stop, stop, stop. Do not die to the dinner table. Do not die to the dinner table, bro. Oh, no, don't die to a spoon, bro. Get out of here. Just just get out. Get out. <sighs> God. Also, apparently I have a torch instead of a cross now. Okay. Oh, that's handy. Oh, it's like holy water. It's, it's the holy torch. Interesting alternative. Also, we got eyeball monsters from the adventure some reason. Oh, we're about to die soon. Dracula had a spinal tap moment with the furniture. <laughs> okay, can we jump? Oh, okay, just go down. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, do, do these stairs, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, bro. 
Boss? Is this a boss? I feel like this is a boss. We're dead. No matter what, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Just instantly. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Why'd you crouch? You know what my favorite part about playing this is? Making the thumbnail. <laughs> that's that's gonna be my favorite part of playing this is making the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to use the boomerang, but all right, all right, boss time. It's it's the uh, it's the stained glass enemy from uh, what was it? Chronicles and uh, Castlevania 64. And he keeps jumping up and down like a jackrabbit. Is that your strategy? Is just jumping up and down? All right, cool boss. <laughs> oh wow, we're, we're, we're almost done. Are you serious? Wow, we're already almost done. Oh wait, what? We got a sword. No way. The only Castlevania game in the series where a Belmont actually uses a sword. And it's the arcade game. That nobody's played. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, unless you want to count uh, Reinhardt, because he uses a sword, but... Okay, well... Uh, is that, is that, is that an enemy? No? Please don't be an enemy. Okay, it's just, it's just decoration that sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> We're about to die. God, these, these mummies, dude. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought that was gonna kill me. Okay. Can I at least reach a decent checkpoint? Well, there's the eyeball monster. Oh, I thought I could crouch. I thought it was going to bounce higher. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Whatever. We're going to die a lot. That's that's the name of the game. It's a fucking arcade game. What do you expect? Alright. Get you out of the way. Maybe I shouldn't teabag. I'll probably piss the game off. God, why does the camera go like that? It's like the camera was trying to follow the platform as it was going into the ground. I wish I could just hit the coffins. Instead, I gotta wait for them to come out. That was, that was weird. Alright. Alright, eyeball monster. It, like, even when you jump, it still hits you. That's how stupid these hitboxes are, dude. Even when you jump. Are those... Are those gonna hurt me? No? Okay. I was gonna say, that, like, if they hurt you, then, like, how do they expect you to get up here? Are these gonna fall back down? Hello, sir. Sorry, I left her. Oh, alright. Welcome back, okay, nuts. I think we're... We're halfway done. We're, we're almost done, surprisingly. It's going a lot smoother than I thought. I think this game just has a syndrome of um, putting the most difficult levels first to make you think the rest of the game is harder, because we're already almost done. Surprisingly. Oh, fucking crow. My, my, the bane of my existence in Castlevania games are the fucking crows. I didn't want to pick up the bomb, man. I wanted to keep the boomerang was on VC with friends, so kind of missed it. Oh, okay. Well, you can watch it back when the VOD is uploaded. Dude, what is this? What is this level with these twists and turns and corridors? 
very unorthodox for a Castlevania level. All these, like, twists and turns. Huh. It's like a labyrinth. Okay, I guess we're going up. Yeah. Gotta wait. Come here, Bat. Come here. Here you go. Oh, boss? Oh, this is gonna be weird. How is this gonna go? Hello? Oh, it's a golem. Oh, okay. Did, did you, how am I gonna hit this? How do I... Okay, how was I supposed to avoid that? Uh... How do you damage it? Can, can you... How, do you, how the fuck... How do you damage it? Bro, how do you... Oh, it did something. What was that? What did... Um... Oh, there we go. It, it, it's doing something. <laughs> there we go. I, I don't know what's hitting it, or what's doing damage, but it's doing something. Oh, oh. There we go. Cool boss. I don't know what the weak spot was, but we're almost done. Wait. What? No. No. I thought that was a Dawn of Sorrow original. That's from this game? That's the, uh, that's the, uh, abandoned mine. What? I didn't know that was from this. I thought that, because, like, I thought most of Dawn of Sorrow's tracks were original. Wow. I was not expecting to hear that. It's the fucking abandoned mine. That's crazy. I didn't know it went back to this. Okay, so I guess we're just dodging platforms now. I love this song. I can't believe it's in this game, dude. That's crazy. All right, Haunted Castle, you have redeemed yourself for the, for now. You've redeemed yourself a little bit by having the song in here. <laughs> you may be surprised listening to the final stage theme. Huh, final stage. What are these skulls from... What was that movie, The Martians Attack? Mars Attacks or whatever? <laughs> they seriously look like them, too. Alright. Just immediately just eat shit from an axe armor. <laughs> oh, that was the stopwatch! If only I could have gotten that. Always two hits. Always has to take two hits, doesn't it? Man, I can't wait for them to uh, bring us another collection of the DS games so I can replay Dawn of Sorrow again. I mean, I have it on the DS. I can play it anytime I want. It's just I want to be able to play it on the big screen. I've always wanted to play it on the big screen. Alright. God, I'm just, just 
just tanking damage left and right. Oh, we got the cross back. Rebirth, rebirth port will be better. Yeah. In terms of quantity, though, I would I would much rather have another collection, though, if I were to choose. Oh, we got Frankenstein now. All right. Well, you know, I'm just gonna sit here and nick at your ankles. Nice. <laughs> He's just sitting there. I'll just I'll just spam you. All right. Cool. Well, is this the last stage? We, are, are we at Dracula? Uh, yep, here's the bridge. Oh, Heart of Fire. I thought it was going to be Moonfight. We got Heart of Fire up in here? Cool. Alright, I'm just going to let that pass. Don't wait until it's dark. Alright. At least the bats aren't giant in this one. I mean, not that it matters because their hitbox already feels like they're giant in the first place. It's actually don't wait until night. I thought it was hard. I mean, isn't it kind of like interchangeable though? Because some of it is hard to fire, some of it's don't wait until night. Right. I'm, I'm just more familiar with the Heart of Fire, I guess. Jesus Christ, how long does this bridge go? Dude, how long does this bridge go? <laughs> For Arya, yes, yeah, all right. All right, we don't, we don't, we don't gotta, we don't gotta, uh, we don't gotta be, we don't, we don't gotta nitpick. Heart of fire, don't wait until night. Y'all get it. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's still a badass song. <laughs> this is the original Crumbling Bridge. I guess you're right, because it doesn't really do that in the original game, does it? It's best to jump attack most. The song name is true because he's not waiting until night to kill Dracula. Oh yeah, you're right. It is daytime. That's funny. I never, I know, I, I just noticed that. It is daytime. Huh? That actually makes a ton of sense, given the song name. Huh? That's actually pretty smart. They they did the uh, they did the JoJo Part Three method where the jo where the Joe Stars went to Dio's hideout in daytime. <laughs> It's, it's, it's clever. Let me try this jump attack method. I, I don't know what he means by jump attack, because if you try to jump attack, that happens, and they don't really come close enough for you to hit them. I can, I mean, I can do this. Does this work? Like, coming down? Dude, how long is this bridge, bro? This is the longest bridge section in any Castlevania game I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we made it. Oh, we're in the castle? Oh, God, foreground stuff. Oh, you're gonna... I don't want to fight enemies that I can't see. Oh, Harpy, please. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait, wait a minute. I see a coffin. Are we a Dracula already? No, we can't be a Dracula already, right? We're not at Dracula already, right? We are! What? We're already here! Okay. I thought it was gonna take a much longer to get here. We're already here. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to go through an entire stage to get to him, but no, we just gotta walk across this mile-long bridge. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, I, I, I see the method. Okay, so just do jump attacks and then attack downward. Sometimes it'll hit. The big furniture makes sense. He's a big... Yeah, he is. He's tall. He's like 10 feet tall. <laughs> Jesus. Can I... 
I really wish I could just like ah, I just it's it's inconsistent. I feel like I got lucky the first time. Ah, I just gotta take it. <laughs> Dracula, why is this bridge so long, bro? Why did you ask them to make your bridge this fucking long? <laughs> do, do, do you just want to admire the scenery when you're walking across? Is that what this is? Did you, did you just want something to admire the scenery? Because, I mean, it looks nice. You get a nice view of the mountains and the lake in the background. It looks cool. You get some exercise in there. I'm just going to take the damage. I, I'm not going to bother trying to attack these guys. It's probably going to bite me in the ass when I get to Dracula anyway. It's just not consistent enough. Yeah, I just, I can't... And I can't really telegraph when they're coming either. I can't really tell when they're going to come. Alright, well we made it. I wonder why it's a bridge to Dracula instead of a staircase. Yeah, there's no staircase! <laughs> His morning exercise routine. Alright. Alright, Dracula, let's try this again. Harpy's got out of the way. Okay. Alright, he turns into bats. Those hurt you. Can I... Wait a minute. Oh, you can hurt him when he's in the bat form. What the... He just turned into a cross. Oh, is this... Oh, yep, here it is. Big head Dracula. I've seen this before. Oh, no! Well, we made it to a second phase. <laughs> Alright. Cool. We made it to the second phase, that's dope. Can we make it there with more health, though? God, this, this stupid bridge section is just gonna take up most of the time. Spat bats. Man, I wish it was a thing to where if one bat spawns, then the others don't. Because then I could just cheese it for the rest of the time. But no, they were smart. They made it to where multiple bats can spawn at once. I wish I was playing 1999 game about Julius Belmont. Alright. Rebirth used a lot of tracks from this. Like the results screen. Did they? Huh. What if I just... Eh, I'm not gonna waste my crosses for that. I was, I was gonna be like, oh, what if I just sit here and spam crosses that'll always hit them? I'm like, no, I'm gonna save that for Dracula. I wonder when that Konami showcase will happen now. I bet they're gonna save it for the Tokyo Game Show, because that's still a thing. I know E3's been cancelled, but I'm pretty sure they're still gonna go to the Tokyo Game Show. Maybe. Hopefully. You and me both, Scarlet. You and me both. I've been barking up that tree ever since the DS collection came out. And I think they've addressed it, too. I think the developers have addressed it to where they're like, yeah, we, we know you guys want more. We're aware. All right, Dracula, let's try this again. Get out of here. What was that? Come on, Dracula. Get down to my level. Could be in a could be in a could be in a pussy. Come on. Yeah, turn into a cross. Alright. Get your big head out here. Oh! Was that it? Oh, we got it! GG's! But, oh, okay, we got it! Nice! We beat Haunted Castle. Okay, okay. I was not expecting it to go that fast. I was not expecting it to go that fast. Huh. 
Well, um, let's talk about this. Um, all right. Uh, wow. If I knew it was going to be that quick and that easy, I probably should have done it a lot sooner. I really feel like the first couple levels were a lot more difficult than the end game, honestly. I really feel like the first couple levels are more difficult. Yeah. Th yeah, this game is fine as long as you're not spending an actual $80 in quarters. Yeah, because you might notice what I was doing throughout the entire game. I made it look easy. Well, quote unquote easy. I made it look like it was fast. The only reason why I made it through this game was because I was spamming infinite coins. Infinite credits. If I was doing that in real life, yeah, you'd probably be spending upwards of like 80 bucks in quarters. What version is this? It's the it's the uh, US version. The ACA one. What's what's the ACA one? What's that? I have um the health boost balance. Yeah. I, like you cuz you have the ability to keep reloading your health. You have the ability to to heal yourself with credits. So that's the other thing. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have beaten this. I don't think I would have beaten this if it wasn't for that. Arcade Archives? Oh, okay. I want to get that. I was thinking about getting that, actually. But I was like, oh, since I have this on the uh, Konami... Ar this is this is the uh, Konami Arcades cl collection. Yeah, yeah, this is on the uh, Konami Arcade cl uh, Classics collection. And you can play the uh, US version and the Japanese version, too. And apparently I chose to play the U.S. version because why not? Apparently this is the more brutal version. So I feel uh, pretty proud of being able to beat it like that. So I get I feel proud of myself. <laughs> um, I have a physical copy of uh, Haunted Castle on the PS2 that I just got recently. Yeah. But yeah, wow. Um... Pretty short, all things considered. There's only, like, what, six stages? Does it have the surprisingly awful arcade version of Contra? Uh, no. Uh, the Konami Arcade Classics Collection only has, uh... It's mostly just space shooters. That's mostly what it is. It's mostly just space shooters, like Twin B, Gradius, After, uh, uh, Life Force, uh, what is it, Thunder Tycoon? Uh... Yeah, mostly just space shooters, and then there's this game that kind of just stands out. No Contra. The arcade version of Contra is horrible. I cannot stress that enough. It's included with anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. So yeah, wow, I didn't think I was going to beat it today. I didn't think I was going to beat it at all. Let alone this fast. But then again, reminder... The only reason why I was able to beat this was because they allowed you to uh, just use infinite coins and credits. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have beaten this. <laughs> this game is evil. This game is evil. <laughs> this is the hardest game in the franchise. I, I still think that even after beating it. It is definitely the hardest fucking game in the franchise. Would you say that the adventure is a detriment to the anniversary collection? Kinda. I guess I don't want to say any Castlevania game is a detriment. I think there's always merit and value to each Castlevania game. But I will say that uh I will say that uh the adventure is probably my least favorite Castlevania. <laughs> I will say that it is my least favorite. This one, despite being so difficult, has charm to it that I can actually see myself replaying this. I hate that they didn't include the Sonya game, what you mean, Legends? It is kind of weird they didn't include that either, because they included Castlevania 4, which, I mean, it's a remake, but it's not really considered canon, I guess. They also included Kid Dracula, and, I mean, if you really want to get technical, when they did the Advanced Collection, they gave us Circle of the Moon, which, for all intents and purposes, is also not really considered canon either so i don't know if it was a canon thing if it was just them really not liking sonya or really just maybe they didn't like the game period i don't know i don't know why they didn't include legends that's honestly an interesting thing to point out um 
I would hope that Canon has nothing to do with it because they could just be like, oh, just here you go. I don't care about the Canon when it comes to Yeah, I don't, neither do I. I don't really care about Canon either. That's why I always try to be like, oh yeah, Circle of the Moon's Canon. Castlevania 64 is Canon. I like to believe that most games, for, for the most part, are Canon if you want them to be. Especially in Castlevania where nothing like explicitly contradicts anything. I think you can get away with thinking that like Circle of the Moon is Canon and Castlevania 64 is Canon and whatnot. But I don't really care. I don't care. Um, yeah, this is fun. Uh, a lot less rage inducing than I thought it was going to be. Um, so next time, I don't know what I'm going to do next time. Actually, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do Rondo of Blood. I don't know if I beat that already. I think I did. I think I did beat Rondo of Blood. Opinions about Arcade? You mean Castlevania the Arcade? Because I've never played that. Because <laughs> we're getting a PC port. Arcade? You mean, wait, you mean the Arcade? Castlevania the Arcade. Are you talking about that? Yes. Wait, wait, what, 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 when? That's news to me. When did you get, where did you hear that information? I mean, it'd be cool. I'm, I'm down for that. I, I mean, I figured, uh, I kind of hope they do, actually, because they brought Kid Dracula to the U.S. So I think it'd be really dope if they gave, uh, if they brought the arcade outside of Japan. That would be really cool. I think they should do that. I'd be, I'd be down to play the arcade, because that's like one of the few Castlevania games I've not played, because it's so obscure, and you literally cannot play it unless you play a, the, like an actual arcade cabinet. <laughs> So, about arcade... P oh, it's not official? Oh. Pfft. Well, I want it to be official, damn it. <laughs> Got my hopes up. Anyway, um, kind of just sitting here chatting now. Um, I mean, it's, it, like, it's pretty much summertime, isn't it? It's like, it's already May. I think within like the next month or two... They're probably going to announce something, because this is usually the time of year when they'd start doing, like, big game announcements. Uh, I know playable, playable's playable, I know, but, like, it, it, it'd be so much more authentic if it was, like, from Konami, you know? I want that authenticity factor, you know? It just makes it feel so much better. Um, but no, yeah, typically around this time of year, this is when they start doing, like, the, the presentations of, like, the Tokyo Game Show. And other stuff. So maybe maybe we'll get an announcement of something then. Like a new collection or even like remasters. I'm curious about what that um, Project Zircon is. Because they still haven't... We still don't really know about what that is. Konami is an inauthentic den of lies itself though. Who know? I mean... They, they, they've, been, they've been coming back. They've been coming back lately. They, they gave us four brand new Silent Hill games. They're they're announcing stuff. They're 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 coming back a little bit. This is like their redemption arc, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't age terribly. <laughs> but um, yeah. That's gonna be it for me though. I came. I saw. I kicked its ass. That was Haunted Castle. Very difficult game. I had fun. I might come back to it one day just to play it for fun. Um, but yeah. Wait, what did you say in chat? Is that something about releasing the originals? Wait, what? Oh, Silent Hill 2. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they went ahead and just remade the second one instead of just, like, remaking the first one or even doing, like, a collection. Like, an actual collection, not those garbage re remasters on the PS3. Those were terrible. Like, doing actual collections with actual, like, effort put into them. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they just went ahead and be like, oh yeah, let's remake the second one. Here you go. <laughs> because it's the popular one, yeah. You know why? Wasn't, yeah, because wasn't Silent Hill 2 the debut of uh, Pyramid Head? And he's like the poster boy for the series. 
So if you were to have a Silent Hill game without Pyramid Head, it's like, oh no, it's not the same. Oh man, I want my Pyramid Head. Ugh. Got got to appease those fans, am I right? Got to have that fan service, right? Uh, at least we're getting something, right? At least we're getting something, so. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for chatting, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will catch y'all in the next one. Catch y'all later.